Hey Capricorns, welcome to your general reading for August and it's flown on the floor. Let's see what it is. Codependency. Okay, so that flew out but it went on the floor so we're going to put it back. Um, this is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. Um, sorry for the angle of the video, I've made a video explaining why we're using this angle and we're just going to have to go with it, okay? So the cards are jumping out, let's go. Let your friends help you Capricorn, ask for and accept support from others, okay? So you could find yourself during August, maybe even being supportive, but maybe needing support as well. I know you're hard workers, so don't be shy to ask for a little extra help when you need it, guys, okay? So let's see. Giving your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, okay? So you could be wanting to um, work things out with somebody here or somebody wants to work things out with you here. So let's see. Working on your partnership retreat. It's time for you to disconnect from the world there. Hmm. So I feel like you may be trying to disconnect from people um, and I feel like it's to give yourself a fighting chance, working on your relationship with yourself here. Um, the messages may come out a little bit deeper because we are Lionsgate um, from 26th of July till 12th of August, peaking on 8-8. Lionsgate, okay? So they may come out a bit deeper. I feel like this is you retreating maybe from friends, cutting people out, um, especially since we've just been through um, cancer season. So I feel like this is you like, look, if people aren't right with me, I just back off from them now. I haven't got time for this. You could just be hiding out from the rest of the world altogether. If that's the case, you may need to get out with friends, okay? Um, so yeah, let's pull the main deck for you guys and see what's going on. Look what was at the bottom. <laughs> I'm not even going to say it guys, you know it already. I'm not even going to say it. Get over them already. So let's see, um, what comes out for you guys with the main deck here, the mythical tarot deck. Ace of Cups. So you really want to give this relationship a chance. Ah, you guys don't want to go deep in your lots reading. And there you go, my throat chakra. You want to tell them you love them. We want to work this out. We want to give this a chance. You may just want to retreat with them. Okay, I always see this as like a wedding card. Somebody after the wedding, like going off onto their honeymoon. So just spending time together there. You may just need like that time together to work on this relationship to build this love here. You could have um, quite a telepathic connection with them at this time with the Ace of Cups. It's about, um, you know, that psychic connection there as well. Um, but it's like offering the Ace of Cups. Aces are about like opportunities in time and um, what's coming for you? It's the first card, so it's the strongest. And it's like, this is an opportunity um, for love. It could be with the Pisces. I just uh, focused on the fish there. But um, it's like this, this love here. It's just like overwhelming. It's overflowing. It's like, no, I want to give this relationship a chance, Stephanie. Don't tell me to otherwise. Sorry, guys. So let's see. So um, an opportunity for this love abundance here. Seven of one. So like, look, we've had these challenges. I know there's still challenges ahead, but it's like, I'm going to work this out. I'm going to give this a chance. This seems like I'm fighting for this love, for this relationship. Seven of Wands is about fighting. Fighting hard for this love. Because look, look what's between us, love. 
So you're fighting hard for this love. Against all these people saying, no, don't do it, don't do it. You're like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to barge straight past and through all these people. And I'm going to do it. Sevens could indicate um, facing challenges at this time as well during August. So you may find, you know, you go through some challenging times. Could be just people being argumentative with you. Um, I tell you what this is. Leona Lewis. I don't care what they say, I'm in love with you. They try to pull me away, but they don't know the truth. So, what is Leona Lewis bleeding love? <laughs> That's what I heard. So, yeah, and when I looked at the bottom, there was the Four of Cups offer. I shouldn't have looked at the bottom, but there we go. Okay, moving on. So I get it, you're fighting for this love Capricorns or they're going to fight for your love here. It seems like they're going to try and recruit help. So I'm going to get my friend to talk to you, find out what's going on with you here. Um, so, you know, it seems like somebody's trying to help here. Nine of Swords. So don't focus on the worst case scenarios. Could be a blockage for you. But it could be something like stress and anxiety worry sleepless nights so i feel like you you may be like having these sleepless nights but we have had like so many eclipses and so much going on in the solar system that sleepless nights are kind of understandable um but don't let that um hold you back none of these knives are in the person it's like focusing on the worst case scenario you could be having nightmares okay so in a nightmare it could be the you know you're dreaming of them with somebody else it could be quite upsetting to you so if you are quite moody at this these times it could be you're feeling you're worrying about things that aren't actually happening so like i just said um, you could be worried that they're with somebody else or you'll never have them back or never going to give this a chance. It's like focusing on the worst case scenario and worrying about things that haven't even happened yet. Um, so that's the nine of swords there. Could be things, you know, these seven of wands, these troubles happening that are bringing you anxiety at this time as well during August. The six of cups, somebody from your past returning to your life, Capricorn. Um, it's a soulmate connection. So I definitely feel you love this person. If you don't love, um, you know, this soulmate connection that you have at the moment, then I don't feel like this will resonate with you. This is some. This is like somebody you're deeply in love with. You've been through these troubled times with. They've caused you this anxiety, this stress. Don't like creep back in during um, Leo season. Um, during this fire season, don't like creep back in, please. We're heading into Virgo season. So if you react to things that aren't even happening when we get to Virgo season, you'll have to answer for them. So it's like if you create drama when we get to Virgo season, it'll be more drama, okay? Um, this is like you're just totally focused on the positive, the love that was between you, you guys. It's like, I remember these beautiful things that happened between us and not to bring a downer on it, but I feel like there was arguments and anxiety here too, but I feel at the moment you may be focused on the love in this soulmate and you, you could take it out on other people. So I would suggest at this time, if you're feeling a bit moody and a bit stressed, retreat. Believe you me, when I said I should have ghosted and not spoke to anybody. I should have listened to myself. Often we ignore our own intuition. Six of cups here. And then we lead into um, situations we don't really want to be in. More um, challenges sort of thing. Okay. So this is like um, an offer being made to you or your soulmate. An opportunity to connect with them. Okay. So don't worry if the opportunity hasn't arised yet. Um, it will do, okay? It will. 
you may still have blockages in the way and that's stressing you out like I've got things going on in my life and I want this sorting out well you know you're worrying about things that haven't happened so I understand anxiety is real but the things that you're worrying about haven't even happened yet okay so maybe for example if you're worried about health and you worry and you worry and worry you'll worry yourself sick because you're focused on it so don't focus on the worst case scenario okay because you'll manifest it either way um with the ace of cups that's about um you know psychic ability and a psychic connection and you know your feelings and your emotions so if you're putting it all into this negative nine of swords energy you will manifest um stressful uh, things challenges in your way so don't do that okay guys um really focus then on the positive let your friends help you so if you are stuck inside and hiding out from the world let your friends drag you out you know or get out for a walk in nature your, by yourself the full card so this new beginning is coming and I feel like you want this opportunity for this new beginning. You're ready to jump here, but little things keep holding you back. And it's like, oh, what's going on here? What's the blockage? Um, a lot of people, okay, see, like in personal readings, I can talk to you personally, but in a general, let's give some general blockages, okay? Um, too much focus on the other person, then, shall we say. Um you know, just not really enjoying yourself because you're over worried about somebody else and what they're doing in their business. You know, their business is not only your business, it's only going to cause you stress and worry that you don't need. So maybe you're like, oh, well, they're going out and having a great life and they could be sat at home. You're just making things up in your head and try to, and it's like causing you unnecessary problems for some okay so if you want this new beginning a new opportunity with them it's almost like you've got to get to a stage like i feel like i'm picking up like this is it's not a very nice word it's like docile like innocent okay it's like an innocent state because we can get very bitter like oh well i've been through this before i know what they're like if you want to connect with somebody, you've got to get back to this. This is stage one. The uh, fool is zero. So you've got to get back to that. You know, I'm ready to jump. You know, like being so innocent, like I'm going to jump. Like a kid will run and jump on a sofa and jump off the sofa without worrying what's down there because their mind is so innocent. So that's what I feel. You've got to get to this stage again where you don't have all this worry on your mind you're not worried about the challenges ahead or things that haven't even happened yet you know you're just like i'm back at square one here i'm ready to jump i'm ready to move forward i'm ready to trust my instinct here my intuition okay so that's the fall there so i think um aries came up in sorry i think capricorn came up in aries video so you could be meeting a new aries here as well a soulmate here an opportunity for love with them okay the hierophant it's definitely about partnership and two people coming together um this is also about learning okay um and acceptance so two major arcana as well here so i feel like this is um a divine spiritual journey that you're about to undertake okay so don't worry about what's ahead you're protected here okay this partnership this soulmate connection is protected by the divine here so please don't worry about this okay don't worry it's not for you to worry about the future because it's just unnecessary worry oh well i'm worried about what about when we get to this stage where will we live where will how will money work out it's just unnecessary worry you know and it's putting blockages in the way with sevens there um so yeah i don't want you guys worrying about that OK, I feel like you've just got to be at the stage where I'm ready to jump. I'm ready to be in this partnership. I'm ready. I swear I'm ready. You know, it's like. 
Okay, with Lions get coming up, it's like Judgment Day. It's like going before the divine and being like, is this soulmate connection ready to take a leap of faith again? And it's not even like you can hide, lie, or anything to, to the divine. So be honest with yourself is the way to move it forward. Am I ready? Am I just focused on the all good? Am I just focused on all bad? Do I have a happy balance where if it's all bad, I can retreat and take myself away? And I mean, you don't have to be honest with me. You just have to be honest with yourself. Okay, so it's up to you. Are you really at this positive stage yet where, you know, be honest with yourself here with the Hierophant and then we'll see here. Am I ready for this soulmate connection? Am I ready to completely trust like it's brand new and jump in? You know, do I trust that the divine will protect me and guide me in the right direction? These readings are going too long and too deep here. Um, so it means like it could be to a very specific, you know, person only when in general we want it to be more broad, but I feel like it's like you're getting to a point where you're ready to jump, ready to offer, but, you know, are you really ready if you just focused on negative or only positive or you're happily balanced? So I feel like your end goal, this one wants to come out, yep. Your end goal is to give this relationship a chance, but what's holding you back? Why are you retreating? Because are you just worried about things that haven't even happened yet? Are you worried about rejection and arguments, explaining yourself and confrontations there? So yeah, okay, so we have, um, the ace of wands now okay so definitely here this opportunity is coming here this offer is coming are you going to accept do you trust are you going to jump like are you going to make the offer are you going to accept the offer are you going to trust that you was gui divinely guided to the edge here for this to be this you know this stick to be offered out hey Hold on to my stick. I'll take care of you. Are you going to trust? This is like a real point where you need to use your intuition here. You really do. You need to be honest with yourself. If this is resonating with you, am I ready? Like, will I take this leap of faith? I feel like you're going to take the leap of faith whether you're ready or not, because if you're not ready, you would still be like, okay, let's jump. <laughs> I want this person, so, you know, I want them quickly, because then you'd be only focused on the negative, uh, sorry, the positives, the memories here. You can make new memories with this person. Oh, with a new person. Six of Pentacles. Be very honest with yourself. Are you going to self-sacrifice every time? Or are you going to have to point out, look, you have to give as much as you get. It is positive energy it, if it's balanced, okay? So if we have three pentacles here and three pentacles here, it's balanced energy. It's both of you wanting to work together and build on this, okay? So don't feel like, oh, if I self-sacrifice and throw myself in this pot, this person and I will be together forever. No, if you do this, you'll find a tower moment. And I'm telling you this because I want you to be able to come together. But you've got to understand balance. Okay, guys? Six is a positive energy. So it's just maybe not in this card. Just the sun beautiful okay so are you healed are you enlightened have you got the answers here are you focused more on the positive this is like leo season that we're in so this is the energy the driving force behind it you know like we're really going to get this push 
Are you this phoenix rising? Are you healed? You know, be honest with yourself here because you could cause more delays if you're not. But whoever this reading's for, this is a big fat yes. Okay, this is a big fat yes. You're screaming at this screen right now like, I'm ready. Yes, it's me. This is my reading. That's what this card is. Yes, I'm ready for this offer. Yes, I'm ready to jump. Yes, I trust the divine because I know this is my soulmate. I know there's love. I'm not naive. I know there's challenges, Stephanie. I know I'm worried about nothing. I'm going to fix that, Stephanie. I'm going to make sure it's equal give and take. This time around, you know, it's like, that's it. And it could be with a new person, but you've got to be able to get to a stage where you're giving this relationship a chance here. You trust. Look, I'm protected here. I don't care. I'm protected. I'm going to jump. The divine's going to catch me. This is the offer. That's the opportunity. That's the offer coming in there. So it's an offer from a soulmate where if the offer's made to you, you say yes. If the offer's made to them, they say yes. Let's see here. Temperance, what did I say? This is Lion's Gate. Look at the gate. This is step forward those who are worthy. Okay? Step forward those who are worthy. You'll know inside yourself. You'll know inside yourself. Ask yourself. Be honest with yourself here. This is um, a very important relationship. The Hierophant and um, the High Priestess. So please be honest with yourself. Trust your intuition here. Trust yourself. And trust yourself to look at the good and the bad. And understand that, you know, this equal give and take that needs to happen. For a partnership to happen with the Hierophant there. This is higher learning. You've learned so much. Both of you here. This is both of you having learned so much. Come so far. Grown so much here. Yes, there's still challenges ahead for everybody. But are you going to let this get away? This is like... <laughs> There's no getting away from Judgment Day for anybody. But this is like step forward those who are worthy, okay? Like, good luck, guys. Truly good luck. I hope you've done the work. I hope you're worthy and you're ready to give this re uh, relationship a chance or retreat until you are ready. Okay, that's why when in my... My ex-return video, I was like, uh-uh, I'm not ready. Just be honest with yourself, guys, and it'll go a lot quicker. Good luck.